Now, I want to talk about two types of collaboration that happen between retailers and suppliers. Those are collaborative negotiation and strategic partnerships. So let's start with collaborative negotiation. If you want to engage in collaborative negotiation with your retailer, or vice versa, we need to start thinking about them differently. Again, as suppliers, we often go in thinking about the retailer as somebody I need to sell something to. I don't necessarily think about them as my partner, and in many ways, we sometimes think about them as our adversary. But if you go into a negotiation with a mindset that the person on the other side of the table from you is your adversary, you will automatically engage in tactics and strategies that are more competitive in nature, that create tension. But if you engage and start to think about the other side as your partner, as somebody you could work with in order to create something new, you will start to use consciously or subconsciously strategies and tactics that drive collaboration. I heard somebody say earlier that we need to share more information, and that is particularly true in collaborative negotiation. Now, that doesn't mean that we share all information, and we need to be thoughtful and strategic about what information we want to share and what information we don't want to share. But in collaborative negotiation, you do want to share more information about your strategies. What are you trying to achieve? What are your goals? What are your priorities? What's important to you? Because if you want the other side to satisfy your needs, you've got to tell them what those needs are. I worked with many buyers in retail over the years, and they always would complain to me that the, the suppliers didn't bring them what they needed. And I always asked the first question, did you tell them what you needed? And quite often the answer was no. So let's share more information. Instead of manipulating the other side, the retailer, the supplier, about what's possible and not possible, and painting the worldview in a way that makes us look like the best option, we want to clarify perceptions about what both sides need, what will be important if we were to work together more collaboratively. I was uh, in a negotiation with a, with a company called Kodak. You may remember them. I'm not quite sure if they're even still around these days. Uh, but um, the salesperson from Kodak came in uh, and sat down with me and said, I'd like to give you our proposal for working with Target this year. It has the pricing, it has funding for marketing and advertisements, and lays out the whole deal for the both of us. And I said, you know what, before I look at your proposal, let me ask you a few questions. Help me understand what you're trying to achieve at Target. Help me understand what your goals and strategies are. And by the way, I'd like to share with you some of Target's goals, what our strategies are in the camera space, in the film space, what we hope to achieve. And after we had that discussion, the salesperson from Kodak uh, turned to me and said, can I have my proposal back? Why do you think they wanted it back? It didn't meet our needs as we'd expressed them. They had come in with a full proposal to sell me without truly understanding what I was trying to achieve. And if we're going to collaborate, we need to first understand each other before we actually put proposals onto the table. In collaborative negotiation, we don't put a position on the table. We don't start there. Because what happens when you put out your positions? I put my stake in the ground here, they put their stake in the ground here, and we fight over whose stake is the right one until we maybe come out somewhere in the middle. And believe me, the middle is rarely the place either side wants to be. So instead of putting positions on the table, let's brainstorm together. Let's figure out how do we meet each other's needs and then get to positions later on in the discussions. Negotiations in a collaborative form need to create value, create a much bigger pie, so to speak,
before we start dividing that pie up. 